Investigators found a telephone number in the back of the Summerton man's Rubaiyat book. It belonged to a nurse named Jessica Thompson, who lived on Mosley Street about 400 meters from where the Summerton man's body was found. When interviewed by police, Thompson said that she did not know the Summerton man or why he would have her phone number. However, she also reported that, at some time in late 1948, an unidentified man had been in the area and asked a next-door neighbor about her. Some investigators believe that Thompson knew the Summerton man's identity but was evasive when asked about him. Thompson's daughter, Kate, has also said that she believes her mother knew the dead man. When Thompson was shown a plaster cast bust of the Summerton man, she said she could not identify him. However, witnesses report that the sight of the bust visibly shook her. Thompson also said that she had owned a copy of the Rubaiyat during World War II and had given it to an Australian Army lieutenant named Alf Boxall. After the war ended, she received a letter from Boxall and replied, telling him that she was now married. Based on their conversations with Thompson, police suspected that Boxall was the Summerton man. However, Boxall was found alive in Sydney in July 1949, and the final page of his copy of the Rubaiyat was intact. But that wasn't the end of this twisting story. 